on the way loving. Stay up, uh, stay up, uh, stay up. But yeah, bro, stay up. <laughs> stay up, shout the yay. Stay up, uh uh. Stay up, what all night loving? Stay up, what's up, God? Stay up, what's up, God? Stay up, what's up, God? <laughs> Viagra, stay up. Stay up, uh, stay up. Let's get it. Yo, if patience is a virtue, who is you giving birth to? I'm pitching. Hope your ass catch like Herschel. Real sex, baby, no extras or commercials. Pop a Smurf part in Red Seas hitting purple. Hit me on a boost phone and you get a chirp full. And if you's a baby, little lady, let me burp you. Lady friends consist in a tight little circle revolving 360 degrees like the earth do. My name ain't Candyman and I ain't here to hurt you, so why you won't say my name? I need a Kelly Rowland pre-surgery change. Be real, cut the perjury, dame. I ain't a John or the perfect James. So wanna make you laugh like the circus train. And I'm a pimp so I can work this thing. Purpose, aim, and main reasons to search your brain. Like a bullet up in Kurt Cobain. Damn. Stay up. <laughs> Stay up. Stay up, Viagra. Stay up. Hey, what's up, God? <laughs> what's up, God? Stay up, Joe. Oh, man. <laughs> The 88 Keys, Kanye West, stay up. That shit is the truth, yo. The beat. Everything about that shit, yo. <laughs> but I'm going to flip it into like a little rap gospel record and shit once I get my flow right. But look, it's about love, too. Stay up. Viagra, mental Viagra. You got to stay up. We awoke, right? All right? I mean, ain't like if we go back to sleep, you go back in the Matrix. Nah. We might go back. To, we might go to sleep and die. Cause sleep is the cousin of death. No, it is. You gotta stay up. What I mean by stay up? Go higher. Okay, you reach a nice little level. Go higher. It's the infinite. Heaven is infinite. There's no high. I mean, you you can go as high as you please. Really, there's seven levels of advancement. This is just stage one. This is like, like. The Earth, aka Urantia, is just like one of the first steps towards heaven. I believe majority of us here, even the advanced ones, we still got six more trips to get to that seventh heaven. The TV show, you remember that shit? Seventh heaven? Yeah, research seventh heaven. That's where we stay at. That's where our home is prepared and shit. We can live one with God, but that's level seven. This is just level one. Y'all ain't got it. Heaven is organized by the seven super universes. Heaven is the central seventh universe. And the six super universes that revolve around this mega universe. You know what I'm saying? And Earth is just, like I said, the first step. The first super universe we're actually in doing purpose, right? Because we're here for a reason. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when we're done here, we're going to send to level two. The second super universe, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, then the sixth, then the seventh. Some of us will probably might get to level three. Skip, like, you skip grades. Some of us might hit level three and beyond. Some might hit level six and beyond. Some of us might go straight to seven. It's happened. Not in our time. This has happened to, like, our predecessors, our forefathers, forefathers and shit. You know what I mean? Life is a beautiful thing. You should figure out how it works. Purpose. It's the raw shit ever. You should really find it. Because it's really what you was put on earth for. When you start doing what you was put on earth for, things change. For the best. For the best. That's all I want to say. Let's get to this message. Uh, I guess we're going to kick it off with Divine Masculine's extended situations. Like I say, we ain't doing karmic situations with him, even though some of us know they're in one, but it's not about that. <laughs> Reading starts in five minutes. Looking at the gold cards. Divine feminines, karmic situation is going to be immediately after this, okay? Just getting these readings done and out so I can get back to the readings that I owe. Uh, Kia, I got you soon. If not tonight, after work, it'll be early in the morning before I go to work or maybe even after this reading. Who knows? We'll see. You know what I'm saying? But you definitely got one coming. Life culture. Uh, I got to start with my star player, and then uh, I got to do a second coaching for Linda. 
holla at me. Um, got a few others too. Just drop me a text if I'm in the middle of a life coaching with you, okay? So I can at least get taken care of you guys either this week, weekend, or probably any time before Friday, all right? Just me up. So let's get straight with it. We have Divine Masson's extended breakdown card drop. What was that? The devil card. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I'm leave your bitch ass on the floor. Let me put you on my deck. Hopefully your bitch ass don't come out. Let me shuffle. Ha! <laughs> what to come out so bad? You missed the table, bro. Try again. <laughs> Alright. Ah, you bitch! Ha! It's the last fucking card I picked up. <laughs> Devil. I mean, this is your message, right? I told you. Agent Smith, Neo. Y'all got something going on. Let's begin. So, overall energy. First cardio reading masculine. We got the full card. This is just being unaware of something. Or being in a whole new world like Aladdin. I take it as both. Why? Because we got this Nine of Wands that's kind of clarifying it. Nine, Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. That's being hurt. That's being wounded. You hurt. Because you're in a whole new world like Aladdin, because this shit is so new, you've never been in this position before with anyone. You know who I'm talking about with anyone. Like this one person you kind of deal with all the time. Unaware. You get hurt all the time, masculine, from being totally unaware of what the fuck a particular person got going on and what they about. This person I'm talking about, she's in your reading, it's the divine feminine. He can be a she, she can be a he. You know how we rocking, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, you're in a whole new world. That's cool. This is new experiences, new money, new journeys, new beginnings, a new direction, a new path, new orientation for some. <laughs> no masculines. You know, I know you hurt, but don't be hurt. Be healthy. <laughs> Don't be hurt, be healthy. Why? Let's pick another card. You keep this energy going on. All you're going to do is, in my personal opinion, build another bridge with another entity or another energy. Probably this devil right here. Because this is something you go back and forth to all the time. Uh, this is fairly important. So, <clears throat> You in a whole new world like a lab. Your feminine has brought you to a new plateau. Your divine feminine is always on purpose. Masculine, your job is survival. It's crazy how subconsciously you masculines know that survival is kind of like your job because you've survived this long. The things you have survived, you're still here. You're a good fucking survivor. Whether that's financially, you know what I mean? Or just physically surviving out here, okay? You hurt because now you're in a position to where you don't have to be in a world as much to get what you was missing in the world because you're getting all of this shit from your twin everything you need in life you're getting from your twin that's part of the full part about it you know you hurt by the way you're getting it it's like i don't know a lion or a tiger that was in the wilderness but it's like your home burned down your whole pride is dead due to a wildfire when, when they found you, you was, I don't know, dehydrated, starving, skinny as hell, just beat down as a lion and shit. You know what I mean? You, you had nothing. Then you get tucking in. They put you in a zoo. You eating good. You know what I mean? You back healthy. Not hurt. Healthy. Feel me? You in a cage with a nice, fine-ass Leo, uh, Leo feminine, a lioness and shit. And she like you. And she wants you bad as a motherfucker. She's trying to get you, I don't know, five, ten times a day. You know, it's all good up in the zoo. But it's a fucking zoo. And you just unappreciative of the help. They could have just let you die. You didn't have to be in here fed, healthy, with a nice little female companion over here, your twin. It's just where you at right now. Maybe they might let you back out. You don't know because you're a fucking animal. You wasn't brought here, so you really don't know. Full car. New world like a lion. It's like a fucking lion waking up for like the 50th time. 
healthy, with accolades, but feeling out of place and hurt about that. Bottom line, it's very important. We have the 10 of one. Something you're going to have to put a passion and into. And that's regression. Devil card. Besides addictions, besides you being chained to somebody or somebody being chained to you, this is past behavior or regressing. Can't handle life like a baby. Even if things are in place for you to get your baby on. You know what I'm saying? Like, regression. You got to keep escalating. You got to keep growing. Masculine. You want to hold the world like a lad. Okay? What you need to do is put a passionate end to anything in your past or anything behind you that doesn't serve you anymore. Ten of Wands is a temporary end, too. So it ain't like you permanently ending these little relationships and this little system you got going on, but like you're gonna have to take a break from it. Because by you indulging in this devil energy, by you not putting a halt to the shit that's blocking your progress, like I say, it's gonna keep you in the same position, whether that's a relationship or a friendship. Me personally, I'm at the point where I've known you more than seven years. Like I say, if we ain't getting no money together, if we can't build an enterprise, or if we can't like do something more then just hang and kick it, then in my personal opinion, you ain't a friend. You're just a person that's in the way. You're just a person that's going to spend money with me, not help me make it. You're just a person that's going to take from me, not give me shit. You know what I mean? So, the higher you move up anyway, the higher you will send you in the class by yourself. And that's the big reason why you're the fool, masculine, because like I said, you're finally in Zion, away from the world, away from your cronies, away from your devil, away from your karmic. Like I say, it's just a temporary break you take in away from your karma, away from the world, being on path and purpose, which is exactly where you at right now, masculine, feeling exactly how you feel it. This shit, all this, all this shit's supposed to happen. Get into your reading. <clears throat> and your mystery madness, bro. Or your subconscious, bro. Or your karma. We got your divine feminine. So I'm going to put it in all three. Subconsciously, your feminine is on your mind. And usually when your divine feminine is in a divine form, it's just like, you know, Superman, not Clark Kent, Batman, not Bruce Wayne, you know what I mean? Your divine feminine is in her cape doing what she usually do, doing her. And it's like the way your feminine do her, got her all in your mind. He can be a she, she can be a he, you know how be walking. And it's a duality thing. It's love and hate, but the opposite of love ain't hate, it's fear. So it's a love and fear thing. Talk to my man on the phone. He's like, you got split personalities. I only like one side of you. I don't like the other side. He couldn't explain to me the side he liked, what that was like. I'm like, okay, expand. No, I just don't like you think you know all and you think you... This is like, he think I'm dictating all this shit. Like, I'm literally, I don't know, pulling all this shit out of my ass and just making up the shit as I go along. Like, fuck no. This shit has been kid tested, mother approved three years ago. I can see you saying that shit when I first started. You know? Yeah, you, you be acting funny, you act weird. Like, the same way he acts, he say, I act. And that's the personality he don't like. It's a mirror. He looking at himself, looking at me. He don't like himself. I love myself. He don't like himself. I respect myself. He don't respect himself. That's why he think I don't respect him. Y'all believe that shit? My twin think I don't respect this man. He think when I say I love him, I'm on bullshit. And I'm just buttering him up for something. You believe that shit? Like, I gotta take time out of my day to fuck with you. It's like I tell a nigga all the time. If he wasn't my twin boy, it wouldn't be none of this shit going on. Only reason I'm in your life is because I am this to you. That's it. That's the reason why I'm here. Getting blessed. I bless my twin all the time. I don't do nothing but help the man. Well, none of that. that's all I that's all I told to him too. I'm like, you don't never acknowledge the good that I do. Whether I'm blessing another person or helping him change another person's life, I don't get no type of glory from that. Only shit you acknowledge is the negative shit that I be doing or the bullshit that I'm on. Whether that's smoking a squab, eating too damn much, gaining too much weight, not handling my business that only you know about because I told you. 
Because feminists keep their masculines informed. Why? So they don't have to be in this fucking full energy that they stay in. Yo, the fucking feminine got grand awareness. But you a fool. Yo, feminine ain't a fool. And y'all the same person. I'm asking you the fool because you want me. It's like going to college and choosing to stay on campus and not do shit. Them them usually the motherfuckers that graduate, I dropped out. So like when I got to TSU in Nashville, I, I just got all around Nashville. You know what I'm talking about? Ha! <laughs> I don't say y'all, you know what I'm saying? Murfreesboro, feel me? Gallatin, goddamn. East side, west side, north side, south side. All the way up to fucking Fort Campbell, Hopkinsville, you feel me? Bowling Green, you did. Jackson, Paris, nigga, I'm gonna, I don't fuck with, I don't fuck with East Tennessee, man, that shit. Or West Tennessee, because I don't fuck with Memphis either. You see, I ain't named Memphis. Yeah, I like Central Tennessee. It's the only place in the South I will live. You know, near them big ass cave systems. All this insight I got, this whole path for me starting on the journey happened in Tanaki. Tanaki is the Indian word for meeting place, which was Tennessee for me. A lot of secrets got revealed to me in Tennessee. Amongst those caves and shit. I didn't go in them. You know what I mean? But I was near a lot of spiritual significance in Nashville. Met a lot of magical people. Like that was when I was meeting spirits in person. Meeting guides like on some, you know what I mean? Some of the wildest shit I ever seen was in Nashville, spiritually. And when I left about that motherfucker, I wasn't active. Like I didn't get activated until I met my twin. But the knowledge I gained in Nashville, that's why I found out about the Urantia book, Holy Seals. The missing books of the Bible. Why shit? Magic. You know what I mean? Tarot. You know, I was exposed to it in Nashville, but it did, I didn't get activated on none of this shit. So I came home until so I met my twin. My twin is, like I said, lit me on fire and made me the divine feminine that I am. And all I'm doing is just like an Olympic torch, lighting him the fuck up, lighting him back up. I'm not saying his fire went out. His fire is always on, but it dims. Can't let your light dim. You gotta shine bright. You know what I'm saying? So feminine been in your mind a lot lately because of the good shit that your feminine gives and puts in your life, which is all the time. But you also recognizing the negative shit that you just ain't feeling with your twin no more. But you looking in the mirror. So what the fuck you doing? Your twin doing what your twin doing? You doing is a reflection. Your twin ain't doing. What you despise and what you hate because you don't like it. She doing it because it's a, it's a fucking merit. Whatever you tripping on, you do. And it has to be acknowledged too. Otherwise, you'll be a fool. You personally come into the situation in divine masculine. This is you. And this is a harvest that was already lined up and prepared for you. Same conversation I was giving my twin this morning. All right, look. We got to talk about the future, bro. He called me, uh, okay, so I was like, we gotta talk about the car. I just bought a car from him in like a few in the future. He's like, I already know what questions you got about the car, but what you what's this future thing you talking about? I'm like, nigga, everything is lined up. All I need you to do is just give me the okay. So we can come together like butt cheeks, ten of, ten of pentacles, you know, double dragon, uh Power Rangers turning into the Megazord. We need to, so we can come together and, and get these pentacles. Like we need to get these pentacles. You can help me get a lot more pentacles than I can get just by myself. I ain't in it for the pentacles, but I know with the more pentacles I got around, the more focused you're gonna be, and the more pentacles I give you initially to even get your ass lined the fuck up. Everybody's situation is different. You can find see what I see. I say, my twin is a sad. Everybody is different. My twin treats this shit like business. Business. Okay, son, you got shit lined up? Nigga, let me see it. Nigga, give me some paperwork. Nigga, give me some figures. What's what he telling me? Give me some figures. Give me some paperwork by me. If it look good, I'll fuck with it. If it don't, nigga, you already know. Alright. Yeah. Who's lining shit up? Me. Who's just in here reaping all the benefits? Him. Because that's all I'm telling him. 
Because reality, you ain't got to do shit. I could do it. I just need you to do your role to just, just support your number one supporter, which is your boy. And part of this full energy is the masculine thinking that your masculine, like, it's the other way around. Like, in my personal opinion, I'm my masculine's number one supporter. In my master's person, personal opinion, he the only motherfucker that care about me. Like, he the only motherfucker that really care about me. He says it a lot. Like, nigga, all your friends ain't shit. I told you that. Took years to find out. He was white. Only got two friends. He one of them. <laughs> no, I don't have friends. He said that shit. I don't have a lot of things I thought I did. Whether that's a handle on things or some pinnacles that I thought was going to be mine that I ended up losing. You know. Due to my trial and error, due to my behavior, due to my emotions, due to the mental direction that I'm going, the way my master operate, in order for him to line up, He's going to have to see the pinnacles lined up. Some masters got to see shit to believe shit, even if they preach that faith shit. You got to show the pinnacles. Or her, he can be a she, she can be he, you know, he rock the moving on. Masculine, as far as the feminine, bro, you in regards to the feminine subconsciously or karmically, or this is just random energy, we got the Knight of Wands. This is a job to do. Subconsciously, you got your feminine in your head. This is just coming straight to the situation. Feminine is on your mind. Now, when it comes to the feminine energy, subconsciously, you see the job that your feminine does. You see how the job, that knight right there, and the queen right there, is face to face, hand in hand. When it comes to jobs, being moving fast and fiercely in your divine direction, when it comes to divine jobs, when it comes to purpose, when it comes to doing shit for God, like not worldly shit. When it comes to doing God body business shit, your feminine be on her job. And this is for the feminists that's on their job. If you on your job, then your master gonna see you on it. If you on your job, then your master gonna see you on your job. I told you, you gotta see shit to believe shit, things are lining up. Okay, so it's like in the midst of you being on your job, the feminine being on her job, you start to see what your job is. And that's to a cup, your twin. Because once again, like I say, it's a love hate relationship, your masculine guy with you feminine, but opposite love ain't hate, it's fear. Right? Fear card is right under here. The masculine, personally, in regards to the feminine energy. This is just the energy of knowing your divine feminine is heading towards a path that's pretty high. Okay, whether that's in the success stage, influence stage, spiritual stage, or financial stage. If you get rich, your masculine is gonna gonna know and gonna understand that you're gonna have to need you're gonna have to need real people around you. It's gonna be a lot of takers. It's gonna be a lot of new fucking friends. It's gonna be a lot of people who's gonna be coming in your life that ain't for your best interest. It's like you blow up as a singer and your masculine wants to be your manager. Not to make money off of you, but just to get a piece. Because, I mean, without you, you're not. He knows he's the inspiration behind most of your passion and your songs and shit. But he wants to be your manager to protect you. Make sure don't nobody take advantage of you. Make sure don't nobody get over on you. And if they do, your bass will be the first person to act like a fool when it comes to you. It just took you to get on this high level for you to really see your masculine get in action. Influence. You popping on YouTube, shit like that. Your masculine's starting to notice that. I don't know. You got a lot of stalkers. A lot of weirdos fucking with you and shit. You know what I mean? It'd be helpful to kind of have a male presence around when you out here conducting your business. Like I said, when I first started LLE, when I blew up, it happened overnight. I went from having like, I don't know, like 800 subscribers. I looked up, I was at 2.1K. Oh, damn, okay. My fuck started noticing me on the street. 
I, I have way less more motherfucking subscribers than I got now, and it was like the momentum was crazy. Or maybe they still know I'm out here, they just ain't saying nothing, but, you know, 2.1K, fuckers will stop me on the street. Oh, you deep one, I watch you all the time. Oh, damn, y'all caught on that fast, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, like this one chick, you know, she stumbled on me. But I knew it wasn't stumbling on me, it was fucking planned. She was playing full car. It's kind of like a setup. I asked my mom about it. My mom knew exactly what it was. I told my twin about it. My twin knew exactly what it was. Like, yo, she was, she was just trying to snatch you up. She had ulterior plans. She didn't come at you for no damn reading and shit like that. You know, you should know. Don't be a fool. You should know what she came to you for type shit. You know, fuckers was knocking at my door. You know what I mean? Like, she's popping up on a nigga. You know, and I'm a man, so I can only imagine a female psychic going through these things. You know what I'm saying? It just became to the point where, I don't know, I just always had to call my twin, man, just to make sure, like, I always call my twin when I need some help with some shit that I can't help myself with. And the more your master get involved with this whole twin shit, the more he's kind of gonna neglect other things. That he's got on the table. Because one thing, because like I said, two things can't occupy the same space. When two people coming together, they gotta be focused. When two hearts come together, it has to be on one accord. When two minds come together, it has to meet. You know? It's becoming clear as day. The benefits of fucking with your feminine masculine. It's coming clear as day. The reason why you fucking with your feminine masculine, but what's unclear to you, what's unclear to you. It's why it has to be this way. Once again, this shit is super duper or unorthodox. Me and my twin situation is unorthodox. That's why I can understand why it's hard for my feminine, I mean, my masculine to grasp. It's completely understandable. But you got, like I say, male female twin pairs, heterosexual twin pairs and shit, or male female homosexual twin pairs, because I mean, you can both be gay and have a twin flame demo because like I say it ain't meant for y'all to kind of fuck on each other it's meant for y'all just to be with each other or for y'all to be in the same vicinity or for y'all to be on the same purpose or for y'all to be on the same mission or for y'all to be in the same area or city or radius at this point whether it was for one twin to influence the other twin or awaken the other twin or for the other twin to awaken the other twin it's you know what I mean the reasoning for twins coming together is going to be different the type of twins coming together is going to be different I told you it's a new world that's what times call for desperate, desperate measures. That's how I know even me being a divine feminine masculine in this world at this time is needed. Like, this is Daniel Boom's life. Daniel Boom as a feminine is needed in this space here. So imagine how much I'm needed in my own twin flame demo. My masculine. He's obviously needed in this demo because look at what me and my twin has kind of built thus far. We're becoming a staple for a lot of people on a journey. That's what I created this for, to be a nice, good demo. What's a demo? It's a demonstration. You play the, press the demo button on the, on, on the keyboard, that shit play itself. It plays out, right? That's all this shit is. It's some shit that's playing out. It's a demonstration that you not jock because your shit is different, but you utilize like any good information to take with you and do better or do great with or not make the same mistakes I made or make the same mistakes I made because it helped me long term where you need to be type shit. You know what I mean? Sam, I should say this. Fear. You're masculine in regards to you. Feminine. Fear. Fear. Masculine scares shitless. He's never been this much of a fool for anyone or anything before. He's never been this open with anyone or anything before. He's never been this deep or far out on the ledge with anyone but you at this point. And this is usually when your masculine's dark emotions and dark thoughts and dark feelings start coming into play. I'm asking yesterday. You know, bought his car. Uh, second car I bought from the man. <laughs> um, 
We at the DMV. I knew it was going to be long. I knew it was going to be stressful. He should know. He older than me, right? We pull up at the DMV. The lady show us the line we need to be in to do these to make this transaction and shit. He in the car. He told me to get the fuck out the car. I don't know what he was hostile about. Lord knows what he was on. So I'm waiting in line. This nigga, I ain't see him coming in line. He called me from another line. Hey, I need you to come over here. I'm like, nigga, I'm in the right line. Uh, what line are you in? I'm guessing he was in the seniors line. Somehow he got me in. It was tight too. Motherfucker come outside. Daniel, it's a long ass line at the DMV on 95th and King by Chicago State. Daniel, and Daniel, oh yeah, me. I'm walking through everybody, nigga. I'm flee too. I'm in that bitch. I'm like, damn, who is this nigga? We a rapper or something? Who is this nigga? All right. And I created so much of a stir, cutting past everybody. Cause I ain't no regular ass looking nigga. Like, <laughs> eating me. Like, I'm too saucy, G. They like, yo, who is this nigga? Nah, he ain't finna cut in front of all of us. That's all they were saying. So by the time I get in, which my master was all he was trying to do. Was get me in. I ain't know he knew somebody in there, but the nigga he knew came to get me and seen the reaction on everybody. Like, damn, I, I can't let you in. Like, I would, but I can't because they all mad and I don't want to. I guess I fucked up the connect not being there. But I was inside. Like, anyway, my master was fucking mad. This nigga had to come outside. It's hot. He had to come outside and wait with me. The whole time he's standing next to me, he hot. Nigga, bad as hell. Ain't saying nothing. I could just see him tripping. He got his mask, got face mask on. All I see is this nigga mad under his mask, bro. He just, you know, so like this nigga really was heated, like at me. Nigga was really bad at me. He like nigga want to fight me, Joe. And uh, me, ha! me being me, I ain't tripping. Um. Nigga, calm down. Quit your fretting, bruh. This shit gonna be an hour, man. You acting like we just gonna come in this DMV and not. Wait, it took an hour to do what we need to do. And the only reason it took an hour is because of this nigga's business, not mine. So, we get in. He even more mad. We having an argument, like, in the middle of the goddamn cashier station and shit. I walk off. Um, you know what? Let me walk away from you, bro, because you, you, you tripping. Like, I don't know what you, I don't know what you want, bro, but you tripping. I'm going to shit on you when we get in the car. I ain't finna make a scene in here. I just walk away from the man. Let him handle his business. Then we meet again. Then we handle him more business. Then this nigga go out to the bathroom right when we needed this nigga's signature for something. So we waiting like 10 minutes for the nigga get back. He get back. He's still tripping. So we get in the car on the way back from everything. I'm a nigga that spent damn near $1,600. This nigga shitting on me. Man, you don't listen, man. You know what I'm saying, nigga? That's why I don't even know if I can fuck with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's fear. Fear. This nigga bases. He gets milk miscalculations of my actions. He gets miscalculations of my feelings. Like, I didn't fuck that day up. He made a mistake. But instead of him acknowledging that shit, he want to put it on me like I fucked up or something. I did everything right that day. You know what I mean? But it ain't about right and wrong. You feel me? It's about actions. A masculine, he's going through some, some fear ass energy. It's the step after the Ten of Swords, which is being discombobulated. Ten of Swords is a permanent ending. Like, well, shit, the way my message was acting yesterday, he was acting like subconsciously coming into his conscious that he know exactly where this role leads. He know exactly where I'm going with this shit. He know exactly who I am at this point. And he know exactly what it is. Acceptance, man, that shit, people do it different. Love, people give that shit different. I love, my master gives love so different. This nigga gives praise so different for me. This nigga builds up people so different. I build up people. I speak life into them, I help them. I give them anything they need to kind of get there. My masculine, he gets people better by deprivation. Oh, you want love? Nigga, you gets none until I feel you deserve it. Then when he give you some, he just give you a taste. Had you fiending for more and then push your bitch ass even harder. 
to produce the more greatness out of you. That's my masculine style. He in your ass. It's like a fucking drill sergeant. But what is a drill sergeant? They hard on your ass. Why? Just to make sure you survive in this in this real world, which is the war. Drill sergeant been in the army, been in the war. That nigga know what to expect. He know ain't shit sweet out here. And you sweet. So this nigga finna beat the sweet out you. Beat the bitch out you. Beat the hoe out you. Beat the fucking pussy out you. Beat the dominance out you. Beat the hard-headedness out you. You know what I mean? Your masculine is the 1950s, 1960s. Bad. In your cups. And your masculine stay in that energy. Tough, tough, tough. Hard, hard, hard. Masculine, masculine, masculine. When your masculine gets to points in life where he's forced to be on some feminine energy, feminine energy-wise, your masculine is in fear. Uh, uh, a motherfucking energy, he tries not to show you that much. But it shows out in anger. Well, my twin. Fear and my twin shows up in anger. Might be different from your mask. It just pays to kind of understand. Big thing with this fear shit, though, mask one, it ain't saucy. <laughs> it's not saucy, brother. You know? You're supposed to have no fear. No fear? That's saucy. <laughs> Awareness? That's saucy. You know? Being on purpose, that's saucy as hell. Being yourself, that's saucy as a motherfucker. Fear of the sauce. Who's the sauce maker? The divine feminine. It's got to be some type of fear, the fact that you're a sauce maker. If, you're, if, you, if your mask is addicted to your sauce, your mask is worrying about everybody else that can be addicted to the sauce too. It's good sauce. Fuck, why doesn't everybody have this sauce? <laughs> or fuck, I don't want nobody else to get their hands on this sauce. You know what I'm saying? So your master keeps you all to you. Keeps you all to himself and shit. This is like... Like I say, I'm me. At the end of the day. I'm unapologetic. We, I'm gonna always be me. And it's the reason why I'm always gonna be me. It's the reason why I choose to be myself. In spite of everything. What the world say. What my twins say. Obviously, me staying saucy above everything is helping something emotionally with me right and it's gonna affect my masculine i don't think my masculine fears is being just like me but guess what he is me he is me who are we going masculine in your role in your subconscious you got the ace of cups you're gonna have to really re-understand what self-care self-love self-respect self-admiration self-realization and self-identification is love do you know what it is so much on this shit all the time. Like, I love you. But you don't think I do. So what is love to you? I don't just throw that word out. I'm Leo. We never throw the L word out for no fucking reason. No. You gotta understand love. So you can understand the love you're getting. Respect. Respect starts with self. You can't tell a person that respects themselves, they don't respect themselves. When you don't respect yourself, because all you're doing is just it's a mirror. You know they love themselves, you know you don't. You know they respect yourself, you know you don't. You just, you know, not respecting yourself. Like I say, respect is given. You know what I mean? They say respect is earned. Nah, it's given. I give respect first. You don't have to earn respect for me. I'm going to give it to you until I see otherwise. If you got motherfuckers earning respect for you, then just like money and anything else, it ain't never going to be enough. It ain't never going to be enough. You're going to have to understand respect. You can respect other people. Self-identification. It's a big part of this sauce. It's just one step in the sauce process. Knowing you sauce. Knowing you shit. Knowing you different. Knowing who you are. A lot of people don't know who the fuck they are. Your masculines be included. That's one part of the world that they really bring with them everywhere. You know what I mean? The master know who he is yet. I'm saying, how the fuck can he recognize you? If your master ain't accepting he's a twin yet, then how is he gonna accept you? My master was with this twin shit. It just took a few karmics and some devils to convince him otherwise. However, these karmics and devils convinced my masculine that I am I ain't who I am. 
Like, I ain't who I am. They did a real good job at whatever they did to, to convince him. I'm pretty sure it was worldly shit. It's like his girl who don't like me fucking his brains out and they pillow talking about me. About how I'm the whack nigga in the equation. About how I'm a grown person that's still seeking, I don't know, guidance from my twin. I'm like, that don't sound right coming from my twin. Man, you too grown, man, to be looking for me for guidance and shit like that. Nigga, who said that? Because you, you been guiding me. You was the nigga... <laughs> Use the nigga idea it was to give me guidance in the first place. Who's switching your brain up? Who the fuck you talking to? Oh, I ain't a psychic? Oh, I ain't nice? Oh, I ain't a man of God? Who the fuck you talking to? Because whoever you talking to throwing you up. And it's about motives. I told you that. It's all about motives with people. You'll know from their motives what the underlining thing is. You know what I'm saying? It's motives. People throw people under the bus all the time to safeguard what they have. It's like you dating a rich man and shit, right? And any potential chick that's dating him, you tell them he got hurt. So they leave him the fuck alone. You got him to yourself, but we're around town, he got herpes. <laughs> and you spread that shit. That's bogus. You know what I mean? It's like you, my twin used to say when he was married, his wife used to keep him fat and shit. You know what I mean? To keep him away from these other hoes. But soon he lost weight and got his shit together and switched his wardrobe and started wearing suits and shit. It was like he couldn't even leave out the house without his wife, you know what I'm saying? On some insecure shit, thinking he finna go out and cheat when that's not the shit he was on. You know what I mean? That type of energy. You can't be selfish. With the self-love. I mean, with the love or with the respect when you do finally give it out to people and shit like that. You gotta know who you are. The best way to know who you are is fucking with people who know who they are. You know? Knowing who you are is way more powerful than any other thing. Example would be like Frank Ocean. His name was by. You know? It was always speculation. He chose himself to come out the box with it to let motherfuckers know whoever was asking what the business is. Did it hurt my nigga? Fuck no. It, it, it ain't do nothing but turn his career into where it's at right now. It's all about influence and it's better influence when people know who the fuck you are. It's better influence when people know who the fuck you are. Is that not gangster? <laughs> you in the rap game. Like he came out with Odd Future. Odd Future was the most homophobic fucking group ever. It's like, oh, you a gangster? You done shot four niggas and went to jail? Oh, you a real man? That's that's what real niggas are? Nah, that's not what a real nigga is. You fucking rappers. A real nigga is Frank Ocean. Keeping it real. Nigga, I ain't gotta lie about my sexuality. I ain't gotta lie about who I am. I know who I am, and I'm, and I'm proud of who I am, honestly. And y'all fuck with me anyway. So, who I'm fucking or not ain't the fucking issue here. It's the fact that I'm a real nigga that can be myself. That's real. Keeping it real. That's real. And shit you done don't make you the man. That's what my twin fucks up at. He thinks shit he's done made him the man. Like, nah. It's shit you're doing that makes you the man. Fuck who you was. It ain't where you was at. It's where you at right now. You know what I mean? It's all about the present. All about the present. In this present moment. Masculine. You know you need to love yourself better. You know you need to respect yourself better. You know you need to identify who the fuck you are and what the fuck you want now. Not later, now. <laughs> the sooner you take care of this little business here, the sooner you can move on happily. You personally master in regards to yourself, you got the four pentacles. It's just something you hold in order too tight to and you don't want to let go of it. What is that? <laughs> Going on his purpose. Three of Wands, what's that? Your purpose, masculine. You holding on to your purpose, masculine. Your purpose is something God put you on earth for. God put you on earth for a reason, and here you are not trying to do it. Is it because you don't think God is who God is? You think God is 
the liar in this equation giving you this path that you don't want to walk on? Do you think that, I don't know, this whole, this being a divine feminine's role is a crock of shit? Your feminine's doing this all day, every day. And if you don't see the significance of this, of course you're going to be in this energy. This shit ain't appealing. Once again, these are actions. This is behavior. This is shit you're doing. Shit you've done. Not shit you got to do because you ain't did it yet. All this is is a pinnacle. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. A person, place, or thing. You're still at the point. Four pinnacles. You're still at the point where things are more important than purpose. Or people are more important than purpose. Or you're more important than anything else. With me, it's purpose over person. Act my ass. You ask me, well, nigga, what you about? Nigga, I'm about God business. Purpose and bringing people to God. Light, love, twin flame situations, and that's it. That's all. What else is there to think about? What what else is there to do in this world? Ain't shit out here. We ain't done everything. You see the state of the world. I mean, the time to be on purpose and doing God's business, this is definitely the time. That's the time it is. Future final road. We got two queens. Three king three queens in total. Three queens in total. Queen of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. This is Divine Feminine. Queen of Swords is Lucy Lou. Queen of Pentacles, that's the Khalees Bossy card. So, in your Mystery Madness slash Karma row, masculine, um, we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Karmic Feminine. Going to your future, ruling your subconscious, is this Queen of Pentacles. Who kicked off your subconscious? It was your Divine Feminine. Now, the difference between the Divine Feminine and a Karmic Feminine is a few things. Your Karmic Feminine is going to love you to the day she died. She's going to be not Making her life your life, or making your life her life. Nah, she's building a life with you. A something you don't have to question. The love your feminine has for you. You don't have to question the respect, the admiration, the joy your feminine gets from you. You're getting a lot of shit back from investing in this feminine. You can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it. This karmic feminine. You don't get shit back from this queen but the pinnacle in front of her face what's a pinnacle it's a person place or thing only thing this karmic giving you is a person baby or maybe she lets you have an open relationship or maybe she does threesomes with you place she just got a bomb ass career and you can stay with her or a nice car or credit that you can use and shit. All that is pinnacles. That's what she given to the equation of pinnacle. Or a thing. That thing. That thing, that thing. Is all she giving up. That's all that's part of the equation. Pinnacles. When over here you got actions. This is a person giving you a thousand dollars. Just so you can spin it and do what the fuck you want to do. This is a person giving you, I don't know, a thousand dollar, you know, a uh, bond, savings bond or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Or something that's going to build interest on it. This is a person giving you money to buy a fucking car with. This is a person buying you a piece of property to put a home in or buying you you know what I'm saying? A garage to invest in cars in. Like, this is more long term. This is more short term. Nothing I was telling my master. I'm like, look, man, you got to talk about the future. Long term shit. I'm trying to get us long term money. Now, if I got to pay you this short term money to get you in here like this karmic does, because it's about pinnacles with these karmics. So that's why my master come at me like a karmic because he's so used to dealing with karmic feelings.
You know, a karmic feminine only gonna do what a karmic feminine needs to do to get you in. It's all motives. Yeah, she helping you, but it's something she want out the deal, and she gonna get it. Winter swords, it's being ten toes the fuck down on what mental direction you want to go. In your future, masculine. Future is the key word here. You gotta be ten toes the fuck down on what direction you want to go in the future. Masters, where do y'all want to go in the future? Where do y'all see yourself in the future? Given your current life, we ain't talking about no make-believe shit. We ain't talking about you living in an ulterior, uh, uh, alternate universe and shit where you can do shit you know you can't do now. What does your future look like, masculine? Where do you see yourself? What do you want to do? Who do you want to do it with? What makes you most happy? What is your path at this point? Are you not at the point in life where you want to get in your path? Are you not the point in life where you want to actually... Dive more deep into this twin flame situation you've been kicking around for a minute. Don't you want to unlock your powers? Don't you want to be a super nigga instead of the regular nigga you want to be all the time asking? Why do you want to blend in with the rest of the world? You are not the rest of the world. You're above the rest of the world. Why is what the world thinks of you matter? What? Knowing all the shit that the world has done to you past... What is any of that doing for your present or your future right now? You got to think about your future. You do not want to build or plan your future based off a of karmic feminine who's just a pinnacle. What's a what's a fucking pinnacle? It's a person, place, or thing. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. It's something that can get taken away from you. This feminine will leave you eventually. This feminine is going to be with you for eternity. This life, the next, the next after that. I told you, it was seven stages we hopping in. Masculine, what path you want to choose? You want to stay in the world like you've been doing? You know the results? It's like Trinity in the car. Take off your shirt, Neil. Why? You might be bugged. Y'all got guns on me and shit. How y'all saying this for y'all safety when y'all got guns in my face? You know what? Fuck this. I'm out. Neil about to get out the car. Trinity say, Neil. Been down that road, Neo. You know where that leads. No fucking way. <laughs> Life outside your twin flame situation. What is it? What what path does that go? Nowhere. Every time I try to sit and think about me having life without purpose, I've been on purpose so long I can't even think about life without it. I've been in my twin flame demo so long I can't think of my life without it. I'm with my twin for eight years, but like I was telling this nigga yesterday, it's like I've known you for 20. It's like I've known you way longer than we had. This time doesn't exist. Your twin is beside you. Time. Did you know time collapses when you two are together? That's why y'all could be together for a short period of time, but it seemed like y'all was with each other all day. Or y'all could be with each other all day for two days, and it seemed like it's been a week. Or y'all been knowing each other for eight years, but it seemed like y'all been known each other for 20. Time collapses. Another thing that happens is this ain't nothing matters. Me and my twin arguing at a fucking DMV. It's quiet in there. And we arguing. Obviously, he don't give a fuck about who hear us. Because I'm more I'm more subconscious on the environment more than he is. He just on me. It's, it's like a bull that see red. I'm asking on my ass. And I'm like, shh, man, be quiet, bro. Like, for real, we can talk about the shit in the cop. I ain't finna make a scene. You know I got a mouth. You know it sounds shit I want to say, too. Calm down, man. <laughs> he used to be time I'm asking and used to care about the shit around us. Now, that shit don't matter no more. I'm trying to be so in it. It's almost like it's just a man. It's like the world going on around us, but we got our own thing. That's good, bad, and ugly. Once again, masculine. What choice you gonna choose this to be? A good situation, a bad one, or an ugly one? At least if it's good or ugly, it ain't bad. And guess what? There is no bad when it comes to the divine. There is no bad. When it comes to God body business. So there is no bad here. It's all good here. When are you going to realize that? That's the message that I got. I hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Stay tuned.